there are two key points here. I mean, one of the really interesting things is that robots historically have done work that is manual and repetitive. Mm -hmm. Because of developments in AI and because of things like cloud robotics and the map and mapping belief space, robots are going to go from doing work that is manual and routine to cognitive and non-routine. Hmm. So the kinds of jobs that are going to be replaced are not just jobs that historically would have been done by men with strong shoulders. They're also going to increasingly be done by, done by people who are what I would call sort of low-level white-collar workers. So like my father, I love my father, but you know what? For 40 years, he was a co country lawyer in Hurricane, West Virginia. Hmm. And what he did is he created, you know, nine-inch stack nine inch tall stacks of papers mm. uh, that you would have to pay thousands of dollars for it. Your last closings. will and testament. Exactly. Or whatever. And totally inefficient. Right. You know, enormous amounts of friction. Mildly cognitive, but very repetitive. Right. That's going to be the kind of work that is displaced. Hey, everybody. I'm crazy about Audible. I've been a fan of this product for a decade and using it for that long. Audiobooks are just an awesome way to catch up and get smarter. If you've met somebody in the world who's smart, they read books. That's it. It's really that simple. And in fact, the people who read more books tend to be just more smart, smarter, in fact. See what I did there? Anyway, I listen to audiobooks constantly because I'm in cars, whatever, 20 minutes for an Uber ride here. Sometimes I take a ride down to the valley for an hour. And you know what? Podcasts are great, but there's a limited number of great ones. And audiobooks tend to be where the great information is captured. So I like to just buy whatever the top two or three books of the month are every month, month in and month out. And then I listen to them. Uh, Audible has over 180,000 of these titles in every genre. And you can access them from anywhere, even on your iPhone, your iPad, Android, Windows phone. Um, and unlike streaming services, you get to own your books. You have them downloaded. So if you're on a flight or if you have bad connectivity, you're going through a subway in Brooklyn, whatever it is, you have your books with you. And the new thing I've been doing is listening to books in order to go to bed because looking at your screen keeps you awake. I like to listen to audio books. I just listen to a chapter and then I go to bed. It's really get, I'm getting through some great books that way. Um, and if you don't like a book, you can exchange it. There's no questions asked. That's their great listening guarantee. And uh, that's a big, I didn't even know about that. And now that I know about it, actually, there's one or two books that just didn't, I'm not going to say I didn't like them. They just, I didn't, they didn't connect with me. Let me just put it that way. And I got like two or three chapters through them. Um, and now I'm going to use this great listening guarantee to get another one. Um, the last time I told you about building great sentences, which was just something I did to improve my own writing, and I really love that book. In fact, I, that, that book I'm listening to a second time during my um, hikes when I, after dinner. Sometimes I go for a little walk around the neighborhood uh, with the dogs. But I, today I wanted to tell you about a book that I've loved since my childhood that I am now sharing with my child. Uh, which is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, and it's read by Robert Inglis. Inglis, I think his name is, and he is so entertaining. And The Hobbit is just such a great book, and he sings in the book, and he uses the different voices for the different dwarfs, uh, and for Bilbo Baggins, and for Gandalf, and all those great characters that we all love. And what's great is, I, you know, I'll take my daughter on a hike. We go up, uh, you know, we'll do one of these hikes in the in the headlands, and the marina, and you know, in San Francisco in Northern California here, beautiful. And what I did this last weekend was we were listening to The Hobbit and she loved it so much that we went on the hike and she said, can I keep listening? And I said, actually, you can. I put the phone, I'm not kidding you, in my back pocket. I put it on 10 and we hiked a mountain listening to The Hobbit. Now, if there is anything I can tell you that is the most heartwarming thing I did in the last month, that is it. I love the book The Hobbit. When I was a kid, we used to listen to a worn-out set of cassette tapes at Boy Scout camp at Ten Mile River in New York, Troop 53, um, Troop 54. And um, we would go to Kernikin camp at Ten Mile River, and we'd listen to The Hobbit. That was our treat after dinner. If we were good that day, we got to listen to an hour of The Hobbit, and now I'm doing it with my daughter on Audible. Go to audible.com slash twist, audible.com slash twist, and sign up for a 30-day membership um, and you can download that book of the week for free at audible.com slash twist. It is amazing. The Hobbit is just such a delightful uh, book. And you know what? She's having me rewind because she loves when the dwarfs sing about breaking Bilbo Baggins' plates and stuff. So we're now 
replaying certain chapters. We're not even finished with it, but we keep replaying certain chapters because she loves it so much. Um, and there's tons of business books on there and tons of uh, fiction and all kinds of great books. I've told you about a bunch of them on this program before. I love Audible. It's just one of the great joys in life to hear somebody else read an awesome book. And you can get smarter and you can share these experiences. Um, when, when I would drive the entire family down to Los Angeles for a vacation from San Francisco or vice versa, um, or even out to Tahoe, we would listen as a family to an audio book. It's just a great way to share a story with a family. And you know what? Listen, sometimes you have kids. You want to do something that is uh, nourishing and educational and enriching for them. And let's face it, you want them to stop talking and listen. You know, you got three kids in the car. It's, it's a little bit loud. Um, so audible.com slash twist. Thanks again to our friends at Audible. Thank you.